Our next two speakers debuted a SIM card hacker, and they're going to be talking about that. Please welcome PT and Lamore Freed. All right, so our talk is called Citizen Engineer. It's going to be about open source hardware, uh, hacking SIM cards, modding a payphone for fun and profit. We're actually going to talk about advertising and making money on videos. And uh, whoever works in video or does user-created content might uh, enjoy this. So I'm from Make. Um, we have about 14 volumes now, um, around 125 circu 125,000 circulation. And at Maker Faire, we had 65,000 people this year. Uh, yeah, fun, fun stuff. Uh, my name is Lamore, and I run Adafruit Industries. And basically, I design and sell electronic kits. Um, like, for example, the iPod charger, bike lights, the TV Begone kit that was made earlier during the soldering competition, and an open source TB303 synthesizer. I also do some other open source hardware projects on the side. For example, uh, I have a cell phone jammer. And they're on right now, that's why you can't use Twitter. Right. Um, so basically, these are illegal to sell, and I can't make kits, but I can show information online on how to do it step by step. So people tend to like to do that you know, in this spare time. Um, we also run an open source laser business in New York City. Uh, we bought a big $20,000 laser, and we paid it off by charging people $100 to laser at your laptops. And we had uh, sushi paper, too. Um, all these things, that have do, they do have something in common. They're open source hardware. Tom earlier talked about some projects. And open source hardware is a very weird topic. It's about putting all the things that you would uh, normally hide, because it's your intellectual property, out there for anyone to download. So there's uh, a giant boring definition, parts list, circuit diagrams, uh, PCBs, source code, software APIs, all this stuff that uh, people never, never, never want to give up. So recently, we decided, well, we're not going to get people into electronics in a very easy way unless we show that this is actually fun to do. So uh, HD cameras are cheap. Um, storage is cheap. Uh, bandwidth is free, but actually someone else is paying for it. Uh, Vimeo paid for ours. Thanks, Vimeo, if you're here. Um, and uh, we wanted to do something that was very different. So we debuted the video at the HOPE conference um, to about 300 people. And it was about SIM cards and payphone hacking. Some of these people went to jail for what we decided to show at the HOPE conference. So um, good focus group. It worked out. Uh, so the first part of the video is basically showing what a SIM card is. It's a little part in the GSM phone. And they basically talk about what it is, how it works, the technical details and how to build a SIM card reader out of Radio Shack parts, basically. Um, and then you can download this open source software and basically undelete SMS messages, see what phone calls have been made from that phone, even if you deleted the history. Um, you can also uh, see the phone book and where the last cell tower it was used. So lots of fun forensics information. Uh, another thing you can do that we show in the video is cracking the secret key out of uh, a SIM card which allows you to clone it. This is how iPhones were first hacked a year ago, if you remember, uh, the first announcement using turbo SIMs. Basically, that's using the same technique. Uh, pay phones, uh, if you're in New York City, you've seen them disappear. There's about 5 million in the US. Now there's only 100,000. So we figured out that there's pay phones everywhere. They're in storage. People are not doing anything interesting with them. So we thought, well, this might be a good opportunity to do something cool with them. So first thing I show is basically you get a payphone for 50 bucks on eBay and then how to hook it up to your home phone line so you can just use it as a phone. So it requires a little bit of you know, wiring or soldering, but it's not too difficult. So that, that's the first step. And we show actually how to use it with Skype. And then the second part is that I show how the coin mechanism works. It's really interesting how it verifies uh, the money inserted. And basically, I make it so you have to insert a quarter to make a phone call. So now nobody can make free phone calls from your payphone, which is, makes sense. And then finally, I go back and talk about this old 1990s, 1980s freaking called red boxing. And I show how that worked and the detail from inside the payphone and then how to modify the payphone so that you can actually red box from home. So if you're nostalgic for those old school days, you know, you can do it once more. Yeah.